Spiritual warfare is on earth today. Spiritual superstars, we have to be prepared. We have to make sure our children are prepared, our families are prepared, our friends. We have to be armed up every single day before we leave our home, our dorm room, our uh, wherever we're sleeping, our hotel. We got to be armed up before we go into the hotel. How many times have you gone over someone else's house, been in a motel, hotel, bread and breakfast? bread and back breakfast, um, Airbnb. Whenever you've been somewhere that isn't normally your place of residency, have you ever felt attacked? Have you ever felt the energy that was there before you and even felt like energy is still there with you that you didn't bring with you or your family or friends, whoever's with you? Spiritual attack is real. And the times we're living in, spiritual superstars, it's getting serious. I personally believe that we are going to see so much more unfold. And the reaction that we're going to be giving it is <gasps> simply because there's a shift that's happening in this universe. And our intentions are definitely pulling that to manifest. When we're manifesting, we're manifesting that which we already see in our mind's eye, what we want. And honey, let me tell you, when there is negative energy putting out negative energy, it is manifesting. But what's happening is more and more people are awake. And that means more and more people are focused on positive energy, good vibes. And that negative energy that's trying to keep manifesting negativity, just the power that's abusive, the, um, the sexual abuse, the predators on children, the poverty consciousness. All of that, people that don't have enough, that are truly good-hearted, they deserve so much more. All that energy of the spirit of lack. There are monsters, there are demons roaming this earth. Spiritual superstars make no bones about it. You know, I don't mix words with that. There is, There are energies out there and inside homes, preying on helpless people. That's why we have to be helped. We have to not be the victim. We have to be armed up and ready for the battle whenever it comes because it does come when we're asleep. It comes right before we're going to sleep. It comes when we let our guard down and when we're asleep, our human is fasting. But that's not the only time that we're asleep, honey. We're asleep when we ignore the signs. When we ignore that there's a battle about to happen. When we ignore that a child around us is being abused or attacked or is about to be. You know, we ignore those kinds of things. And we can't do that collectively. We have to stand together. And the times we're living in, that third dimension that is this poverty conscious mentality of just some stay, just some can arise, some can ascend up, some can make all this money, some people. That's a lie. Everybody can. Everybody can come up. But unfortunately, some people are so stuck in that rat race, in that preconceived matrix, this program, this system that says they can only have what the system says they can have. And that's the lie that some people are choosing to live in. Spiritual superstars, I'm asking you to really 
know this, that you are awake for a reason. Collectively, there's so many of us waking up every timeless second, every moment. There's someone else that awakens to the vibrancy, the beauty of spirit, just the intricate details of nature, finding geometry, math inside of science and knowing that science is spirituality and knowing that spirituality is nature. See, people are waking up to us being on one accord. We are all created and one. And so that's very different from the third dimension mentality of some can have, some cannot. The haves, and the have-nots, the 1% and then 99% that are um, to be preyed on and to be um, used and taken for granted, taken advantage of. No, 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 no. We're, we're waking up to our power, our infinite abundance. We're waking up to, yes, you can have your own business making millions of dollars. Oh, yes, you can work together with brothers and sisters that weren't born in the same family and and be able to open a, a hotel worth 8.3 million dollars fresh out of college yes you can grassroot your own business yes you can bootleg or bootstrap your own um, company you can be the CEO you can be the founder yes you can use your spiritual gifts as your job and make money doing what you absolutely love see that's one of those lies that are told in that rat race that a lot of people just haven't um, haven't become hip to yet they've been taught that they have to live that rat race of well you got to get a job you got to work for somebody else and you the only thing you can do is try to live as comfortable as possible maybe go to the job come home go to the job come home maybe friday you might go out see some friends or something like that but then you come home sunday you get ready for work who says that has to be the life that we live who said that years ago in the industrial age spiritual superstars Schools were invented in order to manufacture employees, okay? So why don't they teach finances in school today? They're still running on that old system of how schools were invented and established in the first place. That's an old matrix. That's an old system. Now we have younger generations getting out to vote we are flipping the senate we are we have had a black president we're about to have a black woman vice president in the united states and things are happening but people are waking up to their infinite abundant power people are waking up to yes you can manifest that very thing that you keep dreaming for yes you can manifest way more than your parents even had yes you can have that beautiful dream life even if you never knew your parents as a foster child Oh, absolutely, yes, you can own your own business. And absolutely, yes, you can get away from being dependent on government assistance. Oh, absolutely. My dear loves, generations are waking up to the fact that that generational curse of living on social services, of feeling like, well, grandma did it, grandpa did it, daddy did it, mama did it. Then they got to do it. The kids going to do it. People are waking up to that, that being a lie. That is a lie. You don't have to live um, in any circumstance that you don't want to be in. People are making money online and people are doing it with integrity. It's tattoo artists, yoga instructor, mechanic, all these people love what they do, right? They're doing what they love. They're doing what they're spiritually gifted to do right? And they're getting paid for it. A florist, right? That's a spiritual gift. Aromatherapy, right? They're getting paid for that, right? 
So people are waking up to the fact that they deserve more because they want more. Spiritual superstars, we're living in those times. And I want to encourage you, if you have been wanting to open your own business, if you have been wanting to create generational wealth, if you have been wanting to make sure you've got legacy income, if you have been wondering, you know, how do I invest? How do I, how do I come up? You know, what do I, what can I do to earn money? How can I get 10,000 months? How can our $10,000 months? How can I pull in $5,000 in my own business? How can I just have a few hundred dollars? Whatever it is that you want, I encourage you to dream bigger than even that. I encourage you to dream infinitely abundant. I encourage you to know that prosperity is following you every single day you wake up. I encourage you to reaffirm who you are becoming because your circumstances may not look like that right now, but you are absolutely capable of reprogramming your human to believe in your future truth before it manifests. And before you know it, your human will be doing the things, walking the talk, talking the walk, taking action working on your goals to manifest that very thing that the 3D matrix of that lie said you can't have. Oh, spiritual superstars, you are unlimited. You are infinitely abundant. You are born for success. You are a leader, not a follower. But guess what? You're coachable. You're teachable. And you know that success leaves clues. So you're looking at the people that have gone before you and paved the way. You're looking at what they did and you're copying it because you know that this is a proven method. This is a proven uh, system. This is something that really works. And this system is bringing me to my hopes, wishes, and dreams coming true. So you know you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You know that you've got experts that you can absolutely hire and you know that that lie of being told you can't afford an expert, you can't afford to coach with me, you can't afford to take one of my programs is a lie because you get over to spiritualguidanceacademy.com and you're like, whoa, I didn't know she priced her her certified programs this low. Oh my gosh, I'm, I'm shook. I didn't know that she priced her coaching services this affordably. Wow, okay. And I didn't know that she is extending her resources to her content, of her content creators, of her CPA, of her experts in her, in her bag of resourceful tricks, you know, of my, of my circle. You know, you've got resources. And let me tell you something, spiritual superstar, if you are desiring more, if you are ready to, you know, open your own business, you can do it. You absolutely can do it. You might need some pointers here and there, and I'm absolutely happy to share, but you can do this. You've got this covered. I'm a single mom of two, you know. I used to be on social services. I used to think that I had to be codependent on the government. I used to think that I was too old to start my own business. I used to think that I needed this, that, and the other to succeed and to be dependent on nobody under the most high. I used to think that I had to be codependent on the government, on on alimony or child support, or, uh, you know, I, I used to think like that. That's a poverty consciousness. What you want is prosperity mindset. You want to be prosperity conscious. You want to be manifesting that which you see in your mind's eye. You want to be focused on your future because your future is bright. Don't focus on what's happening in that 3D imagined matrix, that lie of a reality. You don't want to focus on that. Focus on where you're going. 
Focus on your dreams coming true. Focus on it. Breathe it in. Breathe out that matrix. Inhale your future truth. And literally start living it. Feeling it. Make it come true. And I'm here for you. If you ever need me. You got this.